We've got a story now to tell you of a family at war. It's a sad tale which we hear all too often. A marriage between two people of different nationalities comes to an end. Custody of the children is awarded, perhaps to the mother. The other partner takes the law into their own hands and abducts them. And then against the odds, a court in a faraway land goes against the wishes of a British judge and a heartbroken mother loses her children. But in Catherine Lale's case, the court wasn't in a country with cultural and religious traditions very different from our own, but in Germany, a fellow member of the European community. And Catherine joins us now. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Catherine. So, so your marriage broke up, what, in 1992? That's right. Uh, and you did have a, a sort of a formal agreement, didn't you? A that you would look after agreement. the children? Yeah. Uh, your husband, who you married, what, 11 years ago, That's staying right. in Germany. And he was going to see the children. Yes, during uh, the holidays. During the holidays. And the children were, I mean, I was returning back. We got married in England, and mm. my first child was born in London. Mm. That's Alexander. That's yes. Alexander. And you are and half. British. I'm, I'm British and French. I have yeah. dual nationality. Mm -hmm. And in effect, as uh, I always say, I'm a true European and my children speak three languages. Mm. And uh, they both have three passports. And, and things so seemed perfectly happy, didn't they, till you got the, the dreaded mean, letter came, last August? We came back to, uh, the children and I came back to London, and the children continued at the French Lycée, because they were at the French Lycée in Germany. And, uh, and everything was working perfectly well, and they used to go and see their father during the holidays. And uh, the summer, they went off in July to see their father in Germany. And um, four days before they were due back, I received this letter um, from my husband saying he's not sending them back. And then I found out a few days later that in effect he had uh, applied for custody without my knowledge and had waited for the reply of the judge, which was negative. And then he still decided to, cho to keep the children illegally. And he actually said that they didn't want to come back to Well, them. he said that, uh, I mean, it was a very long letter and uh, he kept on saying, well, that's the will of the children, which for me was extremely odd since uh, the children were terribly happy mm. first in their class. Let's just establish here, we're talking about two little boys. They're only seven and nine. Seven and now. nine, that's Alexander mm. and, and Constantine. Constantine. Yeah. And how long is it since you've seen those two little children? Uh, ten months. I've seen them once in the, f in the past ten months for three and a half hours, and I was locked in my husband's house and um, under supervision and my mother who's an elderly woman wasn't allowed in and she had to wait outside in the freezing cold and my husband lives in a completely completely secluded property which belongs to a friend of his who's himself a judge and this judge actually blocked the road with his truck. It seems that your husband has used a small part of the German law which says that if the children don't want to return to you they don't have to. Well, it's, again, even on the German law, it's uh, very tricky what happens. And in fact, that's what I found out also later, is Peter was waiting for Alexander to be nine. Because on the German law, which plays a much, I mean, the, look at the will of the children much more than any other country. But on the German law, a child has to be nine before his opinion is taken in, into account. And, um, and so Alexander was nine. And the point, I mean, obviously, I think anybody could realize that, is that they've been away from me, and who knows what has been told to them. They're under the sole influence of one parent. Didn't he get a psychiatrist to make a report saying well, they wanted he made, to say I that? Mean, I am German, yes, said Yes, what was actually, uh, I found out later also, is that uh, my children, for no obvious reason, since they were happy and balanced and ex uh, excellent at school. I mean, the little one was first in his class, which mm. I think anybody knows that a child who's unhappy is not. I mean, the school reports immediately mm. affected. They went to stay 10 days at some, un I mean, apparently he's medically unqualified psychologist who's a friend of the family who lives five hours away from where my husband lives. I mean, he could have gone, if he wanted to go to a psychologist, to somebody nearby, but they drove all the way there to go and see this specific one. And what happened was uh, when I received this letter, then I couldn't get hold of my husband. Well, I talked to him once and he hung up on me. And then they disappeared because they wanted to uh, you know, not be traced by the police. Um, then um, I went to court in England. My children became wards of court. And England asked for the immediate return of the children. Then there was a court case in Germany the judge ordered the immediate return of the children to England under the Hague Convention. My husband asked, can I have half an hour to bring the children? In effect, the children should have been in court, but they were not. And instead of 
bringing the children back. He, he abducted took them, them to again. Another court. He took them to and a higher he court. he went to the higher court while the next day he was already and reported to the police. ultimately got the whole thing reversed, didn't and he? And in the, in the higher court, the judges didn't listen to me. They didn't look at any evidence. They didn't ask my witnesses. They only well, listened to the children. One of the things you did want to show was just how much they are missed at their at school. The school. In this country. You're, I mean, the, 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 their, their mates at uh, the lycée um, in London have actually made this scrapbook uh, with little messages saying how much they miss them, reminding them of all the things that they knew so well. And this proves, if you'd yes, only had the chance to show it, that they are very happy yes, in, yes, in, in London with you. And it's and obvious that they're completely under pressure. And, and the judges just sort of concluded, which is so extraordinary, and in Europe and in a modern country, that actually poor children, you know, they live in a foreign environment. And in view of the fact that England is, English is not spoken at home or at school, it's understandable for my children not to want to return to their and mother. What's it all doing to you? It's beyond belief because the court then reversed all the costs to me. Um, then for the next, and I still under law, I still had the custody. I asked to see my children. They kept on saying, no, you can't. I haven't spoken to my children in more than six months. Recently, there's been a... Peter has just been a change in ju of judge in uh, his hometown. It's all happening in a very small town and where everybody knows each other. And, uh, can I, can Peter, I ask you, what is your next move? What are you going to do next? That's why I'm up appealing to the public to help me. I'm trying to do a petition. I mean, you know, there is no higher court. And now the German courts now referred the There custody. is the European Court of Human Rights. This is a court that I've applied to. And if actually they're going to look at my case uh, very shortly which is very great because usually it takes a lot, very long time at uh, Court of Human Rights but before, before any decision is going to be made it's going to be between three and five years. Gosh, well Catherine we do and, wish you well. And the, have the, to leave it there I'm afraid but uh, good luck and thanks for talking to us today. Okay and the reverse the custody to my husband now. Oh. Well we'll follow your story with great detail and do keep us in touch with what Thank happens. You. Maybe the European Court of Human Rights will be able to do something far 